you so much for that lovely introduction. Uh, I want to thank uh, Rotarian Pepe Hissa and uh, the secretary, in outgoing and incoming uh, club members, DD, AG, and GGR. So I feel really glad, humble, proud to be amongst all the Rotarians today. I don't know what else I have to say, so <laughs> I'm just wondering. I like three things about today. One is the rank. Primarily because it was made for me. Second thing, out of the 15 members who are on stage today, 11 of them used it without their knowledge. Which means ranks are necessary everywhere. Ranks are used for every, everybody, not just people on wheelchair, not just for your suitcases or trolleys. Right? So it's a, it, it, let us make it a very natural thing, you know, like why do, why do we need steps anymore? Let's have ramps everywhere so that people like us also have right to employment, education and social uh, uh, life. And second thing, the way you have digitized everything, I really appreciated the uh, president. And third thing, I'm so glad that the membership count is so huge in the club, uh, which means the potential to do projects which are uh, life-changing for so many people is so much higher. I'm the founder and managing trustee of Swarga Foundation. This is an NGO that my husband, Dr. Guru Prasad, and I founded nine years back in 2014 October. When I was diagnosed uh, with uh, multiple sclerosis 14 years back, I was in Bangalore and uh, working for uh, a multinational called Audi, the car company. Yeah, I was heading customer care for Karnataka and also executive assistant to the CEO of uh, Audi. So life was going good and my son was about two years old. My son is the one who pushed my wheelchair. He was the most naughtiest child in the world. Uh, that was not what I said. That was all everybody else believed him to be. Um, so when this happened, you know, I was fine uh, that morning and uh, I kind of felt slightly feverish by 10 o'clock. I took a paracetamol thinking I should be okay, but uh, by 3 o'clock I was necked on paralyzed. My husband took me to the local doctor, they didn't know what to do. They took me to the biggest hospital in Bangalore and doctors didn't come to my cabin for 5 days because they were so scared to tell me what the diagnosis was. Finally, I told my sister to read the diagnosis, it said multiple sclerosis. It's a disease of central nervous system which affects the brain and spinal cord and makes the person affected completely disabled. There was so much information about this in the internet that I uh, could have even a mini heart attack, not just me, whole of my family, you know. It, it was really shattering for all of us. I was just 29 at that time, I had so many dreams. You know, I wanted to do this, I wanted to earn, I wanted to travel around the world. Uh, I want to take, wanted to take care of my son. So I had so many responsibilities as well as a mother, as a, as a daughter-in-law, as a wife. So everything, you know, disappeared in just a matter of one day. And I kind of gave a thought of dying many times, thought of committing suicide. But I stopped because I thought, why not give life another chance and see what I can do with that. Because I didn't want to punish my husband and my son because of the mistakes they never committed. And then I turned out to be this with their support. Today I'm here, you know, and, and I also, just, just before I forget, I just wanted to mention today that this is an all men's club. Today, if I'm sitting, a woman who's sitting here, it creates in the hope, it, it creates a hope, like the Rotary says that, creates a hope for women empowerment. It creates a hope for diversity and inclusion also. Thank you so much. And then, we started India's and Tamil Nadu's first taxi service for people with disabilities and senior citizens. 